Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell. Today I'm joined by Tania Tare. She is the trick shot queen and she is going to be showcasing her trick shots and I may learn a thing or two from her. So, Tanya, first tell me how you got into the trick shot industry. Okay, so honestly, I really fell into it. Like, I didn't try to. I did some trick shots for my family because they thought that golf was super lame. They were like, we don't understand why you play it. So I was about to have surgery. I did some tricks into solo cups <laughs> inside and just posted them for them, and they loved them. And then a lot of my friends who didn't play golf loved them as well. And Everyone was asking for the videos and long story short, like a year and a half later, I took my profile off private and just let everyone like go see them if they wanted. And same day, I think the golf pages picked them up and they pretty much were like, you're the trick shot girl. And I was like, okay, I guess I'm the <laughs> trick shot girl. So posting on social media was a big influence to why your name got found and why you kind of took off. Yeah, but when I posted them, my profile was private. Like I didn't really have any desire to have do the social media thing. Um, but now, obviously, looking back on it, it was like a massive blessing because once the trick shots went viral, I guess a lot of golf companies were like, we want to sponsor you and we want to help you. And at the time, I was trying to play. And so it was all subsequently helping my golf. So I was just like, OK, I'm going to do it. And now it's being fun. Like, now I'm fine with it all. Like, I love doing it. But at the time, I was like, I guess I have to do trick shots or something on social media. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you don't know, Tanya is also from New Zealand. I'm also a New Zealander as well. So it's fun to have a fellow Kiwi on today. Um, it's always nice to see people over here in the U.S. that are from the same country. Um, so Tanya is going to be showcasing some trick shots for us. I may le learn a thing or two. I probably will fail a lot of the times, but <laughs> Tanya is going to show us how it's done. So Tanya, when you're doing this trick shot, what's the most important thing? What are you focusing on first here with your feet? Oh, I think that part is like more subconscious now. My only real concern is to get the ball back in front of me. Okay. Because if I get a 2-5 behind and I miss, and I'm doing a live show, <laughs> that puts pretty much everyone in there <laughs> in danger. So like I definitely know when I, like I can see when a ball's like coming too far back or it's not in a place for me to swing at it. Yeah. So I think it's just like placement is hard. The placement, okay. So you mentioned uh, leading off a show, like trying to get, get the, the crowd into it. Is there like a general trick that you you go to that you know you're going to pull off a lot, most of the time? Yeah, I have like a few driver tricks. I honestly normally start with like the Tiger Woods trick because everyone knows that. I'm like, this should be really cool. I mean, it's still cool. It's, <laughs> like, it's, it's really cool. It's, it's still is super cool. cool yeah. But I'm like, trick shots have kind of evolved a lot since then. It's still pretty cool the fact that Tiger Woods brought this to you know the world essentially. It's oh yeah, like so I learned how to do a trick shot and hit it out the air and like do it consistently when I was 12. And then I didn't hit my first normal golf shot until I was 14. That is actually really interesting. There you go. I would love to try one. I'd love to try, try a trick here. Is there something that, as a novice, is there something that if you're interested in doing some trick shots, where you would, where you would start if someone wants to learn how to do trick shots? Oh, yeah. Do you want to do a driver trick shot or do you want to do a juggling one? Let's start with the juggling first. Here, I'll, I'll pass it off to you. Is that basic? Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. How do you do that so easily with like the... There you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, he's coming for my job. <laughs> okay, I'll do it a little harder.
That's the one that I want to learn. <laughs> that I don't know how you are able to to stop the ball well, on I the say, back of the club. To be fair, that's probably a little my favorite trick I've ever learned. That or like club flipping. That's your favorite one. Yeah, I would say that's and that's probably the one that most people ask me to learn how to do. Okay, I have three tips for this trick. So one. You need to balance the ball on the back of your wedge and see where it's balanced. So like that's kind of the height you want to be bouncing the ball out to yourself. Because so many people will bounce it like really high and then trying to like dampen that bounce on the back of a club is really hard. So it's better you just like get it to that spot. Okay. Like peak it at that spot. Okay, the next tip, um, when, you're, when you bounce the ball up, I would say drop the club under. Don't, I see some people try to go over and I feel like that's way harder as well. Okay. Um, and then the last one, I personally try to catch the ball on the way up, not on the way down like most people. I feel like most people when they're starting, they try to dampen the bounce like that. I think it's easier to catch it on the way up. First you said balance the ball here. Yeah, well, so like how you would actually... Hold it? Stall it in the trick. So I, I would kind of go... I feel like... Yeah. And you went under, so that was good. I went under? Okay. Yeah, yeah but see how, like... When you were stalling the ball, it was more up here, and now yep. you're trying to catch it down here, but it's not going to balance. Okay. Yeah, so you need, so I to, need to go... You need it to be higher. Higher? Yeah. Okay. But yeah, I feel so like that, that was close. That was better, yeah. yeah. That was close. Um, yeah, so I'm going to give up on that trick, because <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to get it. So teach me the driver trick. At least getting the ball out of the air somehow, hitting the driver after... Like a really simple driver trick? Very simple driver trick, yes. Okay. If I have to do a go-to trick because someone, I don't know, on the range was like, can you do a trick shot? <laughs> this is probably what I would do. Nice. You got almost everything. It's because you're slightly outside of the hitting zone, but I mean, it's pretty good. That was good. Yeah, so I would say that's the easiest one. Okay, so first thing I gotta learn is somehow hitting the ball into my foot, letting the ball come up in the air and not. Yes, yeah, so just literally angle your foot like that. Like that. And then when the ball, like. <laughs> and then make sure you aim the club at your foot. Wow, oh, that's my shin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, I forgot that warning. Um, be careful of your shin. <laughs> well, I kind of, when I hit it, kick it up to like that. Like when the ball hits your foot to help get it up. Yes! Yes! It happened! That's a start. That's step one, right? That was it, yeah. Then you just gotta bounce it on the top. Am I gonna, I'm not gonna hit you if I try and go after one here. <laughs> I would step uh, up. Depends where you place that ball. <laughs> hey! Well, that was a... Connected, I mean, that was least. good. <laughs> Well, Tanya, thanks so much for spending time with us today. You made that look really easy. <laughs> made me look like a fool. I, uh, I, uh, oh, I'm definitely going to be probably working on this in the middle of the night to try and to Oh, yeah, you improve. can call me whenever if you need to know if the club goes under or over. Yeah, I don't know <laughs> yeah. if I'm ever going to figure that out. But it's really impressive to sh seeing your skills. Uh, and also for our followers, also make sure to follow uh, Tanya on her Instagram page uh, and also other social channels as well. Uh, follow her, follow us at Second Swing as well. Also make sure come on into Second Swing and come get a fitting with us as well. Bring in your trades and we'd love to help you out in the future.